Hello, hello. When you jump on, say hi so I know you can hear me. Um, and so I know you're there. I don't have my computer pulled up. I'm hoping I can see comments on my phone uh, just because there's not really a place for my computer over here. But if I can't see comments, I will figure it out and move my computer over here. So let me know if you can hear me. This probably shouldn't be too long of a live. Um, honestly, it's really just applying glitter um, and opal iridescent glitter on top of a colored tumbler. Um, a lot of people call it cheap glitter just because it shows the colors through. Um, hi, Dawn. It shows the colors through that glitter. Um, so I have four different tumblers that we're gonna be um, trying this on. I haven't done this method too much, so this is kind of an experiment for me and we'll see kind of how they work. Um, so first I'll show you the different bases that I have. Um, for any of you that saw my post last night in the group, I also do sublimation, but I have never done tumbler or some t sublimation tumblers before. Um, so I tried my first ones last night. This is one of them. Um, <clears throat> I love doing this and if it weren't for the computer, I wouldn't be very artistic. Um, so I knew that I probably wouldn't be very happy with my tie dye attempts. Um, so I decided to try to sublimate it and I think it turned out pretty good. Of course, you know, there is a seam when you do that, uh, things I need to work on, but I think it'll be fine, um, for this and still look good. So we have this one. I tried to do a couple different types of bases just to see what they would look like. <clears throat> and then I have this one. This one is just um, alcohol inks. Um, they are pinata alcohol inks that I got from Michaels. Um, there's, I believe it's magenta, passion purple, um, and I can't remember what the blue is called, but they all came in the same pack. So that is one of the bases. Um, I just applied this almost like I would a wood grain, just a, a line down the, down the tumbler and then painted it down until I was happy with it. This one, just honestly, just a spray painted tumbler. I just kind of randomly painted, um, spots with these two colors just because <clears throat> I need to re-up on my spray paint supply and I didn't have very many good colors. Um, I was bad and left all my spray paint in the garage, which is fine during the summer, but in Wyoming, the spray paint doesn't last that well in the cold garage. So now I need to go spend money on all new colors again. Um, and then this last one we have, um, it was my first attempt at a dirty pour I'm okay with it. I think it'll be okay with some glitter on it and a, a cool decal. Um, <clears throat> one thing I am going to test out with this one tonight is I'm going to try to maybe do a tacket method um, with Leto on this. So I've already applied my tacket. I'm going to be honest, tacket is something that I always struggle with. Um, so if it doesn't work, that's fine and we can fix it with just a layer of epoxy and, and the Leto on top. So um, I did apply Tacket to this one already, so it would be ready in time for the live. So we'll kind of see what, what happens. Um, and I'll probably do the Tacket first, and then we'll move on to the other tumblers that will be applying the glitter with epoxy. So... You might not be able to see too much of what I'm doing um, up close on the tumbler yet, but once I'm done with everything, I'll kind of move you guys over here, or I may try to move my camera over here so you guys can get an overhead view of what I'm doing. Um, so first we'll just do the, the tacket first and see how that turns out. So again, 
Um, the four glitters that I'm using tonight you can find on the CDTC website. Um, they're all opals or iridescents, um, and they should work pretty good with this. Um, this first one is Leto. I have not used this one yet. Um, I don't know how well you can see that on the camera right there. But this is the one that we're going to try tack it with. And I've probably let this dry for about an hour now, so hopefully it's okay. Hi, Helen. Hi, Erica. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody else. Um, usually I'm used to looking at my comments on my computer. So tack it's super simple. Well, it's supposed to be super simple. I just can't get it to work most of the time. Um, but the basics of it, you apply the tack it. I use Eileen's tack it over and over. Um, I think I found it at Michael's. Um, you let it dry pretty good. Even when it's quote unquote dry, it'll still be tacky. Um, and that's how you, that's when you apply your glitter. And then once you pour it on, you will gently rub it off. Um, I use my finger to rub it off. Other people might have a different way to do it, but we'll see how this works. Lots of firsts for me tonight. My first sublimation tumbler that I'll add glitter onto. My first dirty pour. And when you're doing the tacket, you just want to make sure that you get glitter all over the tumbler. The excess is going to fall off. Um, but just make sure you get it really good. My lighting in here right now is not the best. For whatever reason, my boyfriend decided to change out the, well, my Cricut print and cut was not working the other night. It was giving me trouble. So he was changing out the lights to see if different lights would work. And he put in a crappy bulb and I missed my daytime bulb. Um, so as you can see, we just have that glitter covering all of that. Um, I'm going to set it down really quick. I don't like to mix the glitter that I am rubbing off with my other glitter, just because I feel like it has more tacket on it than the others, and I might be crazy, but it's just my preference. then you're just going to lightly lightly rub off the glitter that's flaking off and dependent on the type of glitter you use is the finish that it will give a lot of people use holographic glitters because it gives the holographic look at the end um, and it looks super cool And I'm not pressing hard at all. And I think this is going to look super cool under epoxy. And my bases weren't perfect. That's kind of the nice thing is the glitter does kind of hide some of those flaws. Um, with this being my first... Um, dirty pour I kind of put a lot of paint on there um, and so there was a drip on one spot but I can't even see it now I haven't decided on what decals I'm going to use on these yet. I usually like to wait to see what all the colors look like before I decide. Um, some of these might be light enough that I'll be able to choose some water slides I've been wanting to use. And 
If so, that's what I'll use. So I'm pretty much just about done, just making sure. It looks really pretty, can't wait to see it finish. Well, hopefully I'll have a video of it under some epoxy tonight. So yeah, I think this is gonna look really good. Right. So as you can see, there's not um, not as much glitter on there, but you can kind of see that finish. I trying to show it on the camera. It's about right there. Where when you turn it, you get that effect. That's what the tacket does. And it looks like now that I'm over here in the light, I need to rub off a little bit more. But I think that's going to look really cool. trying to see if you can see how much glitter came off of that. Um, Leto, yes. That's how I pronounce it. I pronounce it Leto. I, tr I try to watch pronunciation videos um, on the names before I start lives, but sometimes I get completely random results where it's telling me one thing and another thing. So I just go with what kind of rolls off the tongue. And I think Leto or Leto, possibly. Um, that's how you say it. Uh, but it is a really pretty white. And I know you can't really see that. Oh, I'm glad I didn't just drop you guys. But it kind of has um, a greenish, pinkish, orangish, orangish tint to it. Okay, so I think for my other ones, I'm going to, um, I'm going to move you guys up here so you can have an overview of these, <clears throat> these three when I'm doing it. Um, I'll be honest, I'm using, um, Stone Coat Quick Coat, which is just a fast set. So I'm going to be working kind of fast, but I will make sure that I answer any questions that I'm getting, um, after I'm done. Um, you just kind of have to work quick. A lot of people will only do it for one cup at a time. I've done up to five cups and glittering at a time. Um, but I think with these ones, I'm just, the three is fine with fast set, but I'm going to move you really quick. So just hold on. Although I think... All right, so let's see, did I get you guys high enough? I might need to put you one more up. You bought that one based off of the pop-up? Oh good, you will love it. It is so pretty and I'll post videos after they're um, under epoxy and I'll flip you guys around once I get these ones done um, and we'll see if we can get um, a better look at it because I know right now it's kind of hard to see. So I'm just going to mix my um, epoxy really quick. Give me one second. I have all my, all my glitters ready that I'm going to use.
and I will tell you what glitter I'm using before I start applying it. this really quick um let me see if I can see um so I'm just gonna mix this really quick if you use fast set or the stone coat quick coat um you know you really don't need to mix it that much I'll be honest I don't mix slow I just kind of whip it and stir it up and if there's any micro bubbles they generally go away with a torch um, so I don't, I'm not really concerned about the bubbles once I'm stirring. And with this, I never mix for a predetermined amount of time. Um, I just wait until it gets to the consistency I know it needs to be. Um, and I probably mixed way too much, but the thing I have found is that the stone coat quick coat um, even though it does dry in two hours like the fast set um, it doesn't ruin my molds so if I make too much of this I can put it in a mold and it'll be just fine at least that I've I've been doing it for probably about a month and a half two months now and it hasn't <clears throat> um, ruined any of my molds that I have Let me turn these on. Um, for the chunkier ones, I'm going to use a chunky on this one and this one. I'm going to make sure that it has a pretty good coat on it just so that um, chunky glitter does stay down, um, but not too much that, you know, it's making a mess. So. I used to have these screwed down so they wouldn't move on me, but I changed some things and now they move. So I'm going to apply all the epoxy before I apply glitter. I just want to make sure that I have everything covered. And again, this one is just alcohol inks, um, three of them that came in a pinata pack, uh, passion purple, a blue, and I think it's magenta. I think they look really good together. I'm kind of liking the darker, oops, I need to screw them back down. I'm trying to look to see if anybody's commenting, but I haven't seen anything yet, so. 
All right, and it does look like I have a little bit left over. Um, so like I said, I don't recommend CC DIY Fast Set in a mold because I have ruined molds that way. Um, but I, I've been using Stone Coat Quick Coat in molds for a while now, and they've been just fine. So we're going to use Psyche. And I'm just going to mix it right in with that leftover epoxy. And I'm trying to be quick so I can apply my glitter. I like to send these cactus keychains to all my um, customers who buy off of Etsy. They seem to like Everybody likes cactuses for whatever reason, so I like to have a bunch of these um, on hand and made. Um, so we are going to start with this one, and I will move you over so hopefully you can see that one. <clears throat> um, I am going to be using... This is one of those ones that had a different name every time I looked, but I'm going to be using what I call Hebe. Um, if you look it up under the Greek pronunciation, it's like Evie or Evie. Um, so this is what I'm using, just so you can see how it's spelled. And it's really just going to be... I'm doing a very light coat of this over the tie-dye. until I get heavy handed and then I gotta this is one of my favorite favorite glitters to get from Emily and again this is just a sublimated tumbler um, I did not hand paint this. Erica, yes, me too. It just goes with everything. And you guys will see I'm kind of a messy glitterer. Glitterer? Is that how you say it? Is that the right, right usage? Um, you know, it's, we all have flaws and that's my one is I am messy when applying glitter. And I know there's ways that I could probably make it less messy, but um, until I get a different craft room set up, hopefully in the spring we're going to be buying a new house, and I'll have more space, um, and better space. And then I'll start trying to figure out better ways, but for now I've kind of already ruined this spot, and it is what it is. And I think that looks really good with the tie-dye. Um, I'm just getting the bottom. With the sublimation tumblers, the bottom is still white. Um, but I think that's going to be fine. It's not... Oh, I almost dropped all of that. Um, it'll still look fine, I think. All right. And like I said, I will spin you guys around um, after I'm done getting glitter on all of these so you can see them a little bit better um, with better lighting because like I said my lighting's not the best um, my names need to go on that <laughs> uh, it's 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 a good one I'm pretty happy um so for this alcohol ink one I am going to be using I don't know if you can see that siren um, this is another one that I just got and I have not used yet. Um, it's so pretty. Let me see. I did make a cactus keychain with it. Um, let's see. Just so you can kind of see what that looks like without any kind of color with it. Um, but I think it's going to look really good on this cup. So that's what we're going to use. And you don't want like 
clumps upon clumps of glitter, but you do want to make sure that you're getting all your spots covered. And after I get my chunkies applied, I usually go through and take off what's sticking up. And I'll show you what I do with that. Oh, I guess I could move you over a little bit. And I'm sorry if I've skipped a comment. I will catch up on it as soon as I flip you guys over. Whoops. See, sometimes you just get a little heavy handed. I think this is going to look good. I think that's going to look super good. I don't know if the original decal I had in mind is going to go with that, but we'll see. Um, and really quick, I'm going to grab, I usually keep alcohol on hand in a spritzer bottle for my molds. Um, once those bubbles rise to the top on my molds, I just spritz it once or twice with um, rubbing alcohol and all those bubbles go away. All right, let's move you over. And again, sorry for this positioning, but I will flip you over. We're almost done. This last one, I am going to, going to be using Hera. Hera. And we'll see. This was the color mixture that I wasn't sure how it was going to pick up. Because um, I kind of chose a lot of blues and pinks. I don't know why that's always my go-to because pink is like my least favorite color. Which is funny because I think out of all the colors I have more pink glitters than any other kind of glitters. And actually I think this mix looks so so pretty on this blue and pink. And again, I know I'm a messy crafter. I do lose a lot of glitter that I could probably save, but that just helps me support Emily more. Oh yeah, that's a good combination. you guys back over so you can see what I'm doing. One of these days I'll get some better equipment to to stream with and let me see if what let me check okay. I have a cup of my turner right now with that on it. Whoop. Um, I have one bottle that has uh, the 99 or the 91, whatever that one is, percentage in it. And then I also have another one that has the 70 percentage one in it. And I didn't mark them, so I don't really know. But they both work 
just about the same for the molds purpose. When it comes to cleaning um, cups or doing peekaboos, the 71% is really not very good. Yeah, 91 works best. Cotton candy cup reminds me of cotton candy. Yes. Okay, so let me really quick. I'm just going to. I usually take some kind of popsicle stick or some kind of something that I can smack this with and. That's how I make sure my chunky lays down and then the stuff that's not going to lay down falls off. This helps eliminate layers and sanding when using chunky glitters. And I think it's really funny, um, my, my boyfriend, he like, he hates chunky glitter. If I make a cup with chunky glitter on it, you know, he appreciates the cup itself and the quality of it, but he thinks it's ugly because of the chunky glitter. And after I get this glitter smacked around, I will, I'll bring you over here for a closer look. Originally, with the dirty pour one, I was going to try a spray, print, spray painted ombre, um, and I about lost my mind. I just, I couldn't do it. And I don't know if part of it was one of the spray paints I got just didn't spray very well, but um, I threw in the towel in the spray painted ombre for today and just switched it up to this dirty pour that I had just done. So, story of the day. You can cuss at spray paint, and your neighbors will give you weird looks. All right. some stubborn ones on here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you guys around. Here is Hebe on the tie-dye. I love it. Here is Siren on that alcohol ink base. Hera on what is now deemed as the cotton candy cup. And I see a few places I'll probably have to sand down. And then here is that tacket with Leto on the dirty pour. And I think that one will stand out a little bit more once I actually get um, another coat of epoxy on it, but you can see that sparkle. Let me see if I can get a better video of Leto, if I can, I always try to do this one handed and it doesn't work out well. It would make a good frozen cup. All right, almost. Whoop. So here is Leto. 
you can kind of see it a little bit better at this angle than before. And then that turned into that. Well, I usually use parchment paper, Brandy, but I, of course, always forget it when I go to the store, and I, I've forgotten it for probably about a month now. Um, but that does work a lot better. Because, um, like I said, there's kind of some stubborn pieces that I can see with this light. but I think I got most of them. gotta do finger glove paintbrush sometimes if you're not very smart and you don't want to grab a glove finger and this is probably why my hands are always dry that and I live in Wyoming so it's just cold um, Yes, I can't wait to see it after I get another coat on it. So hopefully I'll be able to get another coat on them tonight and get a good video for everyone. Um, I think I put all of the glitters that I used in the description for the video. So if you need help finding them, they should be listed there. I can tell you they're all worth it. And I honestly think the, the cotton candy one that I thought was going to be my least favorite is one of my favorite combinations um but yeah i'll definitely get a good picture maybe once i get them ready for decals and decided what i'm going to put on them i'll do a maybe a pop-up live um because i'm sure i'm going to use water slide on some of them and vinyl on some of them so i'll figure that out and then we can just do a kind of a pop-up live where we're putting the decals on and finishing them and We'll be good to go. But if you have any questions, um, just let me know in the comments and I'll always answer back in there. If there's any kind of lives that you're wanting to see, um, just let us know and one of us will try to figure out um, how to do whatever you're wanting to be seen, set up a time for it. So um, just let us know. We're all super helpful in this group, so if you have any questions, again, just, just post to the group, and um, there's a lot of talented people in here who know a lot of things, so I'm still learning every day, um, but I'm also happy to get on here and share with you what I do know, so don't be hesitant to ask, and hopefully you guys have a great night. Um, it's really, really cold where I am. I am. It's, it's like super freezing, so hopefully you're not as cold as I am. And we will talk to you soon.